Well, the first thing to do is to establish what the project scope of work is going to be, or in other words, what work has to be done, how much of it has to be done, and where in the house does it have to be done. So establish that first. And that's something you can do yourself, or you may have to hire somebody to do that for you. If you're going to go the route of hiring somebody to do it for you, make sure that they have remediation project experience and preferably, I, I think, a, a design professional, a registered professional engineer, or a registered architect that can do this type of project for you. But they are going to establish what the scope of work or what the roadmap is for the project. And then develop plans and specifications for the work. Go ahead and do that. And then along the way, you need to select a contractor that's going to do the work for you and uh, give them that scope of work so that they can give you a price uh, to do the work and then of course so that they know exactly what it is that they have to do and what steps and how in the end you're going to ultimately measure their success. Um, one thing about selecting a contractor you also want to make sure that they have experience in remediation of Chinese drywall. Make sure that they're licensed, bonded, and insured. Don't just hire anybody off the street that's going to give you the best price to come in and and do this work in your house. Website at www.winwhite.com and we have uh, links there for information on Chinese drywall or you can call us at 225-761-9141. As the world's most interesting engineer, it's not often that I use drywall, but when I do, I use Chinese drywall. Stay corrosive, my friends.